is did you go down in here? Bring you part three of the Xbox One and Switch Bedrock Edition crossplay between my friend playing my Xbox using his camera, the recorder of the TV screen, and me using my Switch to show him everything. Again, part three is built in his house. He kind of helps me design it, and I think there is a chance I might have claimed one of the rooms. I'm not sure if it's in this one or part four. But this is a four, part three of a part four's mini series. Well, technically the four episodes, but the mini series because it makes multiple episodes to show you all of it. If you like what you see, hit the like notification down below, subscribe to my channel. And again, it's up to you if you want to hit the bell notification. If you do, that's up to you. Then you can see whenever new content comes on. The more you do, the better I can, more I make. Well, let's get started. Two wide window. 
because of this really off. Exactly about where your bedroom windows are for the two rooms, and then I can finish with the walls up. Then we have it for the one room. This is the room that you sleep in, so what we got to do it now. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got plans. So let's go put up this blue wall here. Well, I'm need this wall and the other wall, all the windows for your bedrooms. But I know this one has bedroom windows too. Shoot! I was hoping I did not need to get rid of these trees. Okay, trees, I'm going to get rid of you later so I can fix you. Because I can't put them down there because you guys are in the way so you trees are going to disappear me. But for now I'll have to keep you the way you are. So where on this side do we have with the windows? So they did it. So if they did it or they sat kind of in the middle. Have to that up. So that will be where we want to sit. So we did on this side. One will sit right there. That's pretty good, right? For the windows. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, that's fine. The one good thing is your house would have the windows pretty much away from them. The main part.
me. Not a very big table in here. No, you've seen the table that I have never done. Oh, believe me, you wouldn't go over when we have a two-seater in this, yeah. <laughs> this kitchen. It's definitely not going to have four now we can put it in the living room. I think we got enough room in the living room for the, the, the dining room table. <laughs> At least in this house you do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So that's that. So that puts up that. This real quick so we can put the lights in. You figure out what you're going to use for your bedroom wall colors. And these would be the one lights you would never turn off because they stay on all the time. Oh. Cool. I don't know how to. The redstone is not easy, and I've not actually figured out how to use redstone too much yet in this world. So it is going to be a little odd, but these will always be on. So you don't need to worry about night lights. That's cool. At least you won't trip over anything. Yeah. There's that one, so now it's got to figure out the other bedroom's color. Wait, I think this is going to go this way. 
It's gonna be a little weird. Squeeze that one from the back. And the texture packs on that door would be different. Trust me. I don't know why it's got this book like So now if we come in here, we gotta figure out what color we're gonna use this one. It looks good right now. So I have to go up here and put this in so I know what the wall and the wall says. This is a real color. We're going to have to hide this because one wall is solid, two walls are solid, and then you got this mismatch color, and then you have another solid behind you. Yeah, we got to figure out. So you've got light blue concrete and kind of a light blue wall. I guess you could say this is kind of wallpaper, and then this is just a solid paint. So we have light blue wallpaper and light blue paint. Then we kind of got uh, sand here or gray rubber. That's great. So what can we make this color? Because then we can match the bedroom furniture to it. your hallway as you live in so you kind of have this a little bit so this is going Josh come here so since you live room and um hallway share the same wall yeah you got this like one block right here before you go right into the hallway that's fine but everything else is like two blocks <laughs> so we need to figure out what color we're gonna do this one Mix match of color. We really do need to put a bright color just to symbolize it to different rooms. And now we'll put a different color bed. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, you figure that out. I want to check something out. This way they're different. Uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the basement wall needs to go in your house here. I'm thinking of a purple or a magenta. Okay. I think magenta. Purple is like way too. Purple is dark in this one, but it's actually pretty bright in the other texture pack. Oh, magenta. Oh, shit. I'm done. Hold on. Figure out where your basement wall had to go. Because your house kind of cut, so I mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That might work. It's going to be an awful color when it does. That should work. 
And maybe I'll clean this room of the house. <laughs> that way I don't have to move me in the house. Look, there you are. I'll clean this room. <laughs> and if it doesn't look right in the texture pack that I normally use, I'll change it to pink. This is still thankfully pink. I think this one's actually brighter than the actual pink in that texture. Yeah. Yeah, now you have a roommate in this house and your mom can't see nothing about it because your mom doesn't claim this one. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't, you can't, you should have no exists. It know. might look like your house. Yeah. And then you have, now you might want to think about what color room you're going to have for the third bedroom, which is downstairs. You do have that one bedroom downstairs. Oh, yeah. Which is going to be the real one because I got to make damn sure that one's lit up pretty damn good. That one has no windows. Well, there's no windows in this one. In this build. So you make sure. How about a, a red or a brown? I would go for red because you're outside your house is brown. Okay, that's fine. That is now the complete upstairs done for at least that part. So now we need to take this and I think I need to cut for the outside wall because I gotta I need to see lanterns. I need to do that work. Okay, let's go up to the front door. Oh wait, do I have the side door? Oh, nope, I do not have the side door. I think that's gotta go this way, look right. And you only get one door on this house. I'm not putting a second door on that. I'm not joking, Josh. So let's see here. So we have to put it out. Oh wow. That's a good 
Yes. <laughs> Hold it downstairs. Here. I like fly. Um, that button. You hold that one to go up. You hold the opposite button to go down. So the button you use to stick is the one you go down. So you use one to go up and then you can go to the left. Oh wow. this so I can see what the if they ever did put something up in the side we could That's what you call a lot of progress on a house that's taken four episodes to build. Still being part three, we still got one more episode to go before we are done with our four part beginning mini series of this crossplay type video. And to be honest, my friend does say some weird things. But at least I haven't said any bad words just yet, I'm not sure. But in other words, if you really do like what you see, well, hit the like button below, subscribe if you want to see more from my channel, and again, it's up to you if you like to see the notification and see more of my videos as they go up. The more you like, the more people watch, and I'll try my hardest to make a lot more episodes. Part 4 is just around the board, is next episode in line. So, see you then. Bye!